red side is a typical lung cancer. There are several types. Probably the most common type we see is called adenocarcinoma. That's a the usual standard of lung cancer. And this is a round thing in the lung. And notice that it's very white. And the white, on CT, the greater something, the denser something is, the whiter it is. And when those cells are really densely packed, and there's lots of them, it appears very white. But actually, believe it or not, when we do this, since lung cancer screening has shown us that not all lung cancers are really bad. And we are picking up more and more of these lung cancers which are much more indolent. They're gonna grow really slowly and they may not, may not cause your death, uh, death of people. And what they look like is this. Notice how less, that doesn't appear dense at all. It's not white as all, at all. It's just very slightly haziness, this sort of for a slightly increased haziness. So that's called a bronchoalveolar. And that's actually at this stage, this may actually turn into that one. That's why this, there's a spectrum between these two. This may eventually turn into that one, but a lot of these will be, will never kill you. Well, they'll never, they'll never cause any problems. They're not gonna spread, they're not gonna you know, spread outside the chest or in the chest. So if we pick up this, we may be picking up something that would never have caused any of you problems whatsoever. And so actually, so these are, tend to be not dense, and you can see the difference in the, the whiteness there. The denser something is, the whiter it is. There is less, in, uh, these are not as associated with smoking. So for instance, so actually, some of these you'll be are seen in smokers, but a lot of them are actually seen in non-smokers. So you know that raises another issue of exactly who's screen. They tend to be very, very slow growing, and if you take this out, this patient, you know what the survival is at five years? We already talked a lot about those percentages. How many people will survive when you take one of these out for five years? 100%, which implies that it's not, it's not a very sort of, not a benign tumor, but a very slow growing, relatively benign tumor. On the other flip side of it, the more typical lung cancer which we think about, which all those statistics are based upon, is much denser, it's strongly associated with smoking, it grows really quickly, it's much more aggressive, and it has a much poorer prognosis, okay? But I showed this slide to show you that there are a significant number of these and I think a lot of people in the public don't know this. We think lung cancer is a ter has a terrible prognosis. In reality, a lot of these lung cancers that we pick up now because we use CT so frequently have a much, much better prognosis.